Hi, I'm Dr. Joanna Schoon and I'm a pulmonologist at CLSL. Today, I'm going to talk to you a bit about pulmonary fibrosis and how to make the diagnosis. So the sort of hallmark of, you know, diagnosis pulmonary fibrosis is on a CT of the chest. Um, and ideally, you want to get a high resolution CT of the chest, which is taking smaller cuts of, of the lungs to better evaluate and see um, the degree of fibrosis and scarring inside the lungs. Um, we always also always get pulmonary function testing because you want to see if there's any restrictive ventilatory defect on the pulmonary function test, if the diffusing capacity is abnormal, and over time you want to follow these pulmonary function tests to see if the lungs are getting worse. Very important as well to do is a walk test or pulmonary stress test to see if the oxygen levels are going down and if the patient is becoming hypoxemic and if they need supplemental oxygen. Also, um, blood work is very important for these patients just to try to figure out what the underlying etiology of the pulmonary fibrosis. So getting an um, autoimmune panel um, to be able to detect is this connective tissue disease related pulmonary fibrosis or is it idiopathic as we don't know what's causing it or is it occupational? So good history is very important um, as well.